hi friends welcome back now we will see one more attribute okay here there are two test cases let's say login and logout when we run this particular class what happens and these two tests will be executed that is known thing let's say if I want to run only one test how we can do it let's say if I want to run one test multiple of times how we can do it so we here we need to use two attributes we will see now let's say if I want to run only this verify login I don't want to run the logout usually what generally people will do if they don't know the attribute they will simply comment it out okay if I comment this one so obviously this is only one test available in this class and that will be executed instead of it we can use available attribute here let's say I'm saying enable okay enable equal to false come on so I'm saying enable equal to false now run it see here only one test is executed because I'm just disable this test so now we came to know that how we can disable some test okay how we can enable other test if you are not provided anything nothing but it is enabled okay and this is the one I disabled it fine now we will see one more attribute let's say so now we are clear with enable and disabling let's say and I need to run this particular login test five times at five times at a time let's say if I want if I run it it has to be executed five times so in short it has to be invoked five times how is that possible so here we can have one more attribute called innovation so invocation count so what is my count I'm simply saying that five now run it see this particular text is executed five times clear if I place it as a zero let's say what happens okay only logout is executed so if you don't want to execute you can place invocation count 0 or else you can say enabled equal to false if I want to invoke this particular test multiple times simply give the invocation count equal to 5 10 like that point is clear